What's up guys, Brad here from Piney Grove, and these food plots that I'm sitting in right now were planted four weeks ago, and now it's time to fertilize. And the reason I didn't fertilize when I first planted them is because there's a little bit of nitrogen residual in the soil from the legumes that we planted last year. And our legumes are chicory and clover. And what legumes do is they have a symbiotic relationship with the, air, the nitrogen in the air, and they take that nitrogen from the air and they turn it into nitrogen for the soil. We're gonna spread some 1648 or some 1684. We'll go over to the bags of fertilizer and figure that out here in a minute. You can see here we got good coverage of rye, wheat, and oat. We also have some chicory, and that's that wider leafed plant right there. And if you look closer, like right here, you'll see some clover coming up. So the whole reason we do food pots is to transfer nutrients from the ground into the deer's body. So right now there's plenty of greenery out here. There's plenty of protein and different vitamins and minerals. Just like you get in your Flintstone vitamins, there's plenty of that out here for the deer. But we're about to enter the rut. And that's a period when the bucks are chasing the does. So the does are stressed out from being chased. And the bucks are stressed out from chasing the does. So we're going to hit this with fertilizer now to ensure over the next three to four months and maybe a little bit into the summer with the clover that there's plenty of nutrients out here for the herd to sustain them through the winter and into the spring until we do it all again next year. We typically use a balanced fertilizer, which is where all three numbers are the same. And the numbers in fertilizer are N, P, and K. So you got nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And that number is the amount of pounds of, say, nitrogen. In this case, it's uh, 1648. So that's 16 pounds of nitrogen in 100 pounds of fertilizer. So this is only 50 pounds of fertilizer, so there's only eight pounds of nitrogen in here. They were sold out of the triple 15, and this is more of a turf type of fertilizer because the things that we planted are kind of grasses, or they are grasses. You got rye, wheat, and clover. They're grasses, and grasses like nitrogen. So the higher the first number, in this case 16, gives me more nitrogen, so they will green up and they'll grow better. The other two numbers are a little bit lower, but those two nutrients are not as transient in the soil. And what I mean by that is nitrogen, if you put it on the ground, the sun will evaporate it, and also it'll leach down through our sandy profile. The potassium and the phosphorus tend to stick around longer, so you can actually build that up a little bit in your soil. First thing we gotta do before we get started spreading fertilizer is protect our 16-year-old ATV. Fertilizer is very caustic, and we don't want that spread all over the metal parts of the ATV and rusting it. So we're gonna put up some shields that are simply some foam board that I cut out and attach them with some plastic wire tie wraps. Okay, that'll protect the fertilizer from going all over my back. Then I take this piece of foam board and come up from the bottom. So this foam board keeps all this fertilizer back here so it drops down in the soil where it's needed and doesn't hit the ATV. The spreaders run off a 12 volt receptacle on the ATV. I run my electrical line underneath the seat here so it doesn't get in the way of my legs or anything else. Then there's just a simple male female end that you attach to the spreader. And if we've done everything right, the plate should spin so the spreader comes with this screen, and that's a good thing to have because sometimes your fertilizer can be clumpy, and if it's clumpy and goes down in the bottom, it won't feed through the feed gate. Now we just pour the fertilizer in. It's a prime example of a clump right there. It breaks up pretty easy, but if that were to get down in the feeder gate, it would clog it up. But that's two 50-pound bags of fertilizer in there. But it also has a cover, and that's really good if you're traveling long distances, let's say, you wanna have a central location where you fill up your, your hopper here and you don't wanna move your truck and your trailer around. This will keep the fertilizer and seed from spilling out. Another thing we really like about the spreader is that the motor is not inside of the spreader. And there are some spreaders out there where the motor will sit inside of here. And I guess that's okay for seed, but fertilizer is very caustic and will quickly erode through the casing of the motor. With this motor being external and down here, it's gonna be real hard for fertilizer, especially nitrogen, to get inside the motor here and do any damage. I've got the ATV about the right distance away from the edge. I don't wanna waste a lot of fertilizer throwing it into the woods. So I'll stay five to 10 feet away from the edge. I'll ring the whole edge of the plot so I know that I've got a good 10, 15 feet here all the way around that spread and has fertilizer. And then I'll just start working 10 feet more across the plot till the plot spread. Got 100 pounds in the spreader here, and that's how much I want to put on this particular pot is 100 pounds. So if I have a little bit extra at the end, I'll just go back over what I call the high wear spots on the plot 
where the deer tend to use kind of the center of the pot there and put the rest of the fertilizer in that high traffic area. So I walked to this end of the pot to set the camera on here and I'm really impressed with the germination rate of the clover and the chicory right here in this little area. But I'm gonna jump on that ATV and get this thing spread out. You see how quick and easy that was to spread this pot with this ATV versus doing it by hand. What we really like about this spreader is how easy we can turn on and off the gate at the bottom. I just reach back here, push that down, and then when I'm ready to spread, I pull it up. And the whole time I keep the spinner plate moving and I can control like at the end of my row, if I don't want to make a sharp turn and mess up the, the plot like I did back there a little bit, I can just go drive right out the end, shut it off, turn around, Turn that back on and I'm spreading. So what I'm doing when I'm spreading is I'm opening up the gate at the bottom as far open as it will be. And I got two holes in the bottom of the spreader and that gives me the most volume to put the fertilizer out. And then I try to gauge the speed of my ATV so that I go across the whole area and put it out evenly. In this case, I had about one third of the spreader left. So I had to go back over it. Easier to do that than to try to gauge the speed of the ATV and try to get it perfect as you go across. It's okay to have a little bit extra at the end and then run back over the plot. So this next food plot, the one we started at, will take three bags of fertilizer, but we can't say enough how much we're impressed with this Cabela's 2.0 spreader. And we're not sponsored by Cabela's, just impressed. But we like to share with people that are regular viewers and also new viewers to our YouTube channel, things that we found over the years that work really well. And this is just something that works really well for us. And it not only works well out here on our hunting property doing food plots, but we also use this at Piney Grove to fertilize our pasture and also seed our pasture. Right, guys that came out perfect on that last three bags i went back to the truck and put in that third bag so i did three on this plot two on the one earlier and it came out perfect it ran out there at the end and i didn't plan that i mean i tried to plan it but it doesn't always come out that way so now this is completely done we've done just over an acre between this plot and the other plot it took us maybe five minutes six minutes per plot and we used to push spread this. We have a, a push spreader with big tires on it, but uh, we kept getting older and those 50 pound bags kept getting heavier. So we switched over to the ATV spreader. But I've got several more pots to do, so I'm gonna leave you with this. I'll throw some footage up on the end of those other pots. But if you like today's video, please click that like button. It sure help our channel. And subscribe if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? It doesn't cost you anything. But otherwise, that's all I've got. So until the next one, guys, you all take care out there. And remember, life is short. Get out and enjoy our great outdoors. All right, guys, this is it. We're all done here. PG out.